Hey guys, welcome back to I the Somnium Files. We learned some very, very important information. It was kind of a lot last time. We learned that through the sync machines, mind swapping is possible. Now this is major. So with that, some of the puzzle pieces start to feel like they're coming together. Some things that con were confusing are starting to make a little bit more sense, but we still have a lot to learn. We synced with Hitomi and we learned about Monica, the identity of the body, the frozen body that we originally thought was Iris. Although when I first saw the body, I did not think it was Iris. And then the game told me it was Iris because Dante thought it was Iris. And so I just assumed it was Iris. But, you know, I knew from the start that it was not Iris. But then I doubted myself again, like always. I always do that and I get mad. I never trust my, my initial instincts. And a lot of times they turn out to be right. Anyways, today we're going to learn a little bit more about Monica and her story from Hitomi. So it's going to be uh, a lot, a lot more information. So I hope you guys are ready and enjoy the video. Eighteen years ago. Renju's the father? Wait, you're going to see So? Yes. I want to talk to him in person. No, you can't. Why not? Are you worried about my body? You don't have to worry about that. I'm totally fine. But your stomach is still... Oh, my doctor told me that's normal. Your stomach doesn't go down right away after giving birth. I'm not worried about your body. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. So doesn't care about you. And especially not your child. I haven't told him about giving birth. He contacted me for the first time in a while. Is So the father? So that's why. He wants to know about the baby. He must be panicking. If anyone ever finds out his mistress had his baby, his political career would be over. Okay. Okay. So, so Sejima is... I'm guessing Iris's father. He killed Manaka, or Monica, or however you want to say it. So his secret wouldn't get out. If the secret ever gets out, then he will kill. No. Does he not know who Iris is? It's not like it was an affair. His wife passed away after giving birth to his son, right? His son, 30 years ago? It would still be a big scandal. He impregnated a girl who just graduated high school. Don't you see how that looks? He knew how the public would take it. That's why he gave you the money to deal with it. There's no way he'll accept that child. It's okay. 
I told him that I won't cause any trouble. But could you take care of the baby? Just for a little bit? I'll be right back. Fine. But take this with you, just in case. Tracker. It's a GPS transmitter. Mm. Just to be extra safe. I really don't think I'll need it. But okay, if it'll make you feel better. This music is so haunting. I don't know what Monica saw and so. She said he was kind and loyal, that he wanted to change Japan, but I didn't understand any of it. We tried to convince her to break up with him so many times. She never listened, and it ended in tragedy. What happened next, you already know. Neither Renju or I saw it happen, so I don't know how much of this is accurate, but we could guess what happened. So he, he probably, oh, see, it wasn't, it was somebody else. Number 89. <sighs> this is some heavy shit. What did you say to Manaka? He told her to move overseas. He said he'd pay for everything. About Manaka's killer. Date, you said that Manaka was killed by So, right? But that's not true. Manaka was killed by Saito Sajima. Number 89. So Sejima's son. The son of So and his late wife. Saito was 12 at the time. He was 12? I guess he I guess he would have been. He was 12? Twelve? Yes. But why would a little boy do that? I don't know. I can't imagine. Because he's a fucking psychopath. Who told you this? Renju told me. But you said he wasn't there. He heard some of this from the Kumakuras. Renju had connections with them. How did the Kumakuras know? So told them. What happened after the murder? So contacted his friend, the chairman of the Kumakuras. Rohan. He asked him to dispose of the body and left the scene with Saito. So Rohan didn't kill her, but he did take the eye because he... He had a thing for the eyes for... I'm trying to remember the story exactly. The incident was 18 years ago. That means the chairman was Rohan, not MoMA. Rohan went to the scene of the crime? Yes, with some of his men. Again, neither Renju or I saw this. We were just waiting at my house for Monica to return. But she never came back. We tried to call her cell, but it didn't connect. But then... We saw movement on the GPS. The GPS Renju gave to Monica? Yes. At first, we thought she was on her way home, but we saw the GPS getting further and further away from the city. Renju and I got nervous, and we decided to follow it. What about the baby? 
We couldn't take the baby with us, so... Ranju gave the baby to the mob doctor he trusted. Mob doctor? I wonder if it's Mama. Those are Kumakura men. Mama's gotta come in here somewhere, right? We didn't dare move. We couldn't speak. We were barely breathing. We could only watch as it all unfolded. I knew what the hole was for, but I couldn't move. Couldn't do anything. I remember my heart beating so fast before long. We good here? Yeah. Cover her. Just a minute. people covered Monica's body, then left. Renju and I ran over and dug up the grave with a tree branch. What we saw. seemed like such a sweet girl too like a like a softer more more calm iris Not yet. Why not? You don't know who those guys are. They would do anything to keep this hidden. I've seen it happen myself. I know what they're capable of. Anyway, think about it. Why would they do this? They thought Monica and her baby were going to be trouble. Monica's stomach was still pretty big. I don't think they know that she gave birth already. What do you think they'd do if they found out? They would take her and kill her too. And then... They'd come for us. They'd make it look like we disappeared. All of us would be... gone. Renju convinced me. He knew more about the dirty underbelly of society than anyone. He knew when something couldn't be handled by the police. He said that they would do anything to kill the child. And I believed him. We had to protect Monica's baby. We had to. No matter what. Okay. I understand. I decided to trust him. We couldn't leave Monica's body in the forest. What if the doctor is MoMA? We cleaned her up and took her to the cold storage warehouse. But we haven't had any clues that he knows any kind of medicine. I don't think we've had clues about anybody knowing anything about medicine. Maybe this doctor person, I don't remember what they called him, called them. This warehouse is owned by Okiura Fishery. My father runs it, but it's not in use right now. They're moving operations to a better area. They're actually looking for buyers right now. But don't worry, I'll take over the warehouse. Are you sure? Yes. Don't worry, I'll keep everyone out. Everyone but you, of course. I'll give you a key. You can come visit any time you want to see Monica. So went to visit her too.
Why did he leave the body out on the table, though? Monica, don't worry about the baby. I'll protect her, no matter what. And don't worry about them, either. The people who did this to you, I will never forgive them. I'm sorry, Monica. Sorry. I'm sorry. Monica. to say I don't even know what to say I don't even know what to say I'm trying to figure out how the sink machine the mind swapping and the uncle thing and Date and number 89 like how all of that I I'm really curious about all of that right now about Monica's killer. I don't really want to discuss this, but there's something you need to know. After talking to the Kumakura gang, I found out who killed Monica. So's son, Saito Sejima. How? Saito was only... 12 years old. Why? Why would a little boy do that? I don't know the motive, but I know it's true. So used his connections with the Kumakuras to cover up for his son. And all of the evidence of this scandal, of course. I'll never forgive them. So, his son, or the Kumakuras. I feel the same way. But you can't think about revenge now. You and the baby can't lead a life like that. <laughs> Just bear with it for now. The opportunity will come. So wait until the right moment. Okay? Did you get the birth certificate? The mob doctor took care of everything. I have the birth certificate, and I even picked up a mother and baby book. It wasn't cheap, but you don't have to worry about it. Just submit the birth certificate, and everything will be taken care of. You look worried. I feel like... I'm somehow betraying Monica. She was the one who gave birth. Soon, you won't even be able to think about that, because a war is about to begin. A war? Between you and the baby. You won't get a good night's sleep for a long time. You might even start to resent Monica for all this. Really? Anyway, as soon as you submit the certificate, you will officially be her mother. Be sure to raise her responsibly. I'll help. Occasionally. Occasionally, huh? Hey. So, like, I, I understand why Renju was so, like, doting on Iris, but it still doesn't excuse or, or even explain why, like, he, he didn't give a shit about his own daughter, assuming, I mean, who, who knows who's related to who at this point, but Mizuki, what should we name her? I was thinking about her name. How about... Iris? Iris? I wonder if anybody got to this point and was like, it's Iris? Like, they didn't figure it out before. But you guys all knew, right? I, it's, I feel like it's pretty clear. I don't think that's, like, supposed to be the reveal, right? Like, people should know. The goddess of rainbows in Greek mythology, and the colored part of your eye. And the flower, too. Right. 
I thought it might have something to do with your name, Hitomi. <laughs> Not only that, it's also for Monica's name. The kanji for Monica uses the character for love, and Monica reminds me of Monaco, Japanese for I. So both names have something to do with the I. And I, which means love, will always be a part of Iris. That's a lot of connections. Okay. So that's how you came up with the name? Don't you think it's nice? Iris. Iris. Yeah, I really like it. And so my life with Iris began. Raising a child was much harder than I expected. Waking up in the middle of the night to change diapers or feed her, Iris wasn't a good sleeper. I had to sing her lullabies to put her to sleep, and I always needed to put her to bed so carefully. It would only take 10 seconds before she'd start crying again. So I had to pick her up, sing her another lullaby, then put her back to bed. After doing this over and over, before I knew it, the morning sun would creep in through the windows. But even with all that, I cherished every single day. My hatred for those responsible never went away, but my hands were full, raising Iris. I devoted myself to her. I never thought about anything else. Eventually, my desire for revenge just faded away. Mama! Mama! Wolf! Wolf! Mama! Amwe! Amwe! Oh. Sweepy! Up! Mommy, I won race today! Is Mommy proud of me? Mommy, I want to see Milky Moon again! Mommy, you are so good at dancing! Mommy, pancakes are done! <sighs> pancakes sound so good right now. Sorry, I burned it a little. I like them a little crunchy Mommy, sometimes. Mommy, why can't I dance at the stores? I can't help it! My body dances on its own! Mommy, don't more people come to barbecues? How come it's always you and me? Hey, Mommy. How long will it take my bone to get better? I want to dance again with everybody. Hey, Mommy! Do you like my shirt? Look, we're matching! Mommy, thank you for everything! I love you more than anything in the whole wide world! Mommy, look! I drew it! <laughs> the Okonomiyaki War, huh? That was so fun! We should do it again! The food or the food fight? Um... Both! I'm gonna have to say no to the latter, sweetie. It took forever to clean. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But Uncle said he wants to do it again, too. Hey, Mommy. Yes? Are you gonna marry him? What? What are you talking about? As long as it's Uncle, I'm all for it. I say go for it. I would always question myself. Could I keep living a lie? I had promised Monica that I would avenge her. But I couldn't work up the courage. And maybe Renju was exaggerating, but there's no statute of limitations for murder in Japan. If we showed Monica's body to the police, so would be punished by the law. And the Sejima's and Kumakura's crimes would be uncovered. But that would mean Iris's secret would be uncovered as well. That's what I was really worried about. I didn't want Iris to know that So was her father. And even more than that, I didn't want her to know that I'm not her real mother. That's the real reason I've been silent for 18 years. I didn't want to lose Iris, but... Fate can be cruel. 
God used other means to take Iris from me. The tumor. In January, Iris suddenly collapsed. It was caused by a malignant tumor in her brain. There's nothing we can do. She only has a year to live at most. That's what the doctor said. If you remember me telling you. But what I didn't tell you is that there was an experimental new treatment. It was. Something to do with the sink machine? Some of the cutting edge nano machines can even go inside your body and cure illnesses. They can even cure cancer. And they go beep, beep, beep. That's what mom said. Nano machines. Nano machines. Nano machines could remove the tumor, but the procedure would be so expensive. With my salary, it wasn't something I could afford. I thought hard about it, about how I could get my hands on that kind of money, but I couldn't think of a solution. Time passed. Before I knew it, it was November. Iris's symptoms worsened. Her time was running out. I was starting to panic. I couldn't sit here and waste time while Iris... In any case, I had to get the money before it was too late. So I thought of a plan. A plan to blackmail Sol Tsujima. Two days ago, on Saturday night, I called So and invited him to come to the warehouse. He agreed to come. After I hinted at what happened 18 years ago, I had prepared everything, hiding behind the forklift until So came. When he finally arrived, he walked over to the workbench where I had laid Monica's body. He lifted the cloth and looked down. Uh. He whimpered and stumbled back. Even he was phased, seeing a body he thought he got rid of 18 years ago. Not to mention it was the body of a woman he was in a relationship with. A woman his own son killed. He reacted exactly as I expected he would. I had prepared a recording and sent it to his phone. to keep quiet and cut ties with the Kumakuras, even if he found out who I was. Without the Kumakura gang, he had no power over me, and there's no way he'd risk his political career not to go after me. I saw So put his phone back into his pocket and run out of the warehouse. I came out of my hiding place to put Monica's body back. But then... But then... something unexpected happened. You showed up. I saw you, Date. I hid behind the forklift before you saw me, and when you were done looking around... Man, this is so trippy. Uh, it can't be. Iris. Man, this is so trippy. I still have so many questions, though. I was losing consciousness. My head felt fuzzy. I couldn't gather my thoughts. I didn't know what to say. Instead, Iba did the talking. Iris is not Hitomi's daughter. 
But Iris's father is Sosajima. Mm -hmm. Her mother, Monica Iwai, was killed 18 years ago by So's son, Saito. Mm -hmm. However, Hitomi raised Iris since she was a baby. Sajima doesn't know about the mind swap. Wait. Question mark? That's why he said to Date, killed by your own father. Hitomi showed unwavering love and compassion for her. Just as much as her biological mother would have, if not more. Iris's tumor was discovered in January of this year. The only possible treatment was experimental nanotechnology. However, that treatment is restrictively expensive. Hitomi devised a plan to blackmail Sosajima for the money. The best way to establish the blackmail was to show him proof directly. That is why Hitomi created the scene with the corpse. She was the one who called So to the warehouse. On Sunday night, what Date saw was what Hitomi had prepared for So. That is the summary of what we have learned so far. But there are some things I have yet to understand. Date, pull yourself together. Ask her questions. <laughs> it's like the... The writers know that, like, we, the players, are, like, just... Our brains are just... We're, we're Date right now. It's like... Whoa. Date, snap out of it! Okay, Aiba, I'm trying. I heard Aiba call for me and came too. Okay. Did you tell Renju about blackmailing So? No, I did not. All of this was my idea. Why did Rohan remove Monica's eye? I'm sorry, I have no idea. Continuing, oh, because of his brain injury that caused him to lose sight. I remember now, he lost sight in his eye from the brain injury. Continuing Sunday's events. Probably don't have to ask, but let me just be sure. After I left the warehouse, what did you do? I put Monica's body back onto the hood of the forklift. Then, I left. Makes sense. That's why the police didn't see the body when they arrived on the scene. It makes perfect sense now that I have the facts. Iris did not resurrect. You simply mistook Monica for Iris. The body did not disappear. Hitomi moved it. Those were the events at the warehouse Sunday night. Simple. Mm hmm I get it. I get that. There are still a few loose ends, but I believe I understand what occurred 18 years ago. However, none of this ties directly back to Shoko Nadami. Yeah, I still can't figure that part out. Who did this? Who did who did it and why? Her murder was just four days ago. Is it connected? Or are these two separate cases? If there is a connection, it would be with Renju and So. We can think about it later. More importantly. I headed for the exit. Wait. Where are you going? To look for Iris, of course. But you have no idea where she is, right? Do you know something? Yes. How do you know where Iris is? 
At around four o'clock today, I received a phone call. I don't know who it was. They were using a voice modulator. What did they say? I have your daughter. Don't call the police or she dies. That's why I didn't tell you earlier. Renju. We don't know that for certain. It could be number 89. Either way, Iris is in danger right now. The voice asked for something else. He told me to go to a specified location with you. With me? Shit. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Number 89 wants to swap back. I mean, Saito wants to swap back. So he doesn't have to be in prison anymore. He wants back in his original body. Yes. The culprit knows me? It must be Renju. What location? Where the sink machine is. The chemical factory. I'm sorry, but this stops now. Pewter? What are you doing, Pewter? Date. Run! Boss! Please, do not worry. I merely put her to sleep. What are you doing? My orders! They told us to halt our investigation. The boss was already going against orders as it is. Which is why... Investigation? What investigation? Shoko or Iris? Neither. The investigation of Monica's murder. But her case is all but completely solved. Yes, but only to us, right? If we say nothing, then her investigation is ongoing. So Sejima, so threatened us, didn't he? I don't know! But you've been stripped of your authority on this investigation, as of five minutes ago. In fact, you are to be placed under house arrest. What will you do, Date? I suggest you comply. Iva, can you turn the power off? Easily. All right, get ready. Three, two, one! <gasps> now tell me. Where is the location? I can't tell you. Why not? If I told you, you'd go alone, wouldn't you? But if I don't go with you... All right, take me there. Should we stop here? Not that I want to. Couple minutes, there will be a good stopping point. I know, JF Sting, dude, it's been good since I turned this game on. Since I installed this game and pushed play, it's been good. I know this place. It's the chemical plant that closed eight years ago. I knew that. How did I know that? The corners of my mind were aching. Date, I'm sorry, but 
This is going to be bad. What happened? Someone has begun to access my stored memory. They are attempting to wipe all the data. <gasps> Everything I have accumulated over the last five years. They're trying to kill Iba. Including backups. Pewter. Is Pewter doing this? Almost definitely. He does have admin rights. Why, Pewter? I summoned some ice, but that will only buy time. I have four hours at the most. After my ice is broken, Pewter will be able to access Watcher, my core programming. He would be able to destroy my mind. Why? It must be related to the orders they are receiving from the top. The higher ups clearly see me as a threat, Doctor. They are attempting to limit your power by removing me from the equation. I suppose their motivation hardly matters now. The most important thing now is finding Iris and bringing her to Abyss within four hours. Or else, I will cease to exist. Date? What's wrong? Everything. Nothing. Just... Alright. Now you know. So get moving. I'm counting on you, Date. She sounds so sad. Four hours, it's fine. That should be plenty of time. I gripped my evolver and got moving. I'll go in first. You wait here. Okay. Is that... It's bait. <gasps> Renju? No. Not Renju. The case remains unsolved. <sighs> oh my God. How am I feeling? <laughs> Overwhelmed. Excited? Locked. Unlocked. This is so intense. This game went over, went under so everybody's radar. This is, it's just, it's another 13 Sentinels. Like people don't know. People don't know. Oh.